what's going on guys we're back at it with another one and today i'll be fishing in the mangroves with nlbns i'm just setting up the boat waiting on my buddy landon to get here you saw him a couple videos back when we were fishing down in the 10,000 islands national park and he is coming all the way up from marco island to fort myers just to fish with me for a few hours and see if we can pull off some snook on some artificials in particular the nlbns like i just mentioned and Landon should be here any minute. So we'll get out there and let's see what happens today. My guys was about to go fishing on my boat and noticed something sitting on my engine and I captured it. It's this beautiful, beautiful water snake. Check them out. I think it's a salt marsh snake. It's some sort of Nerodia species. I'm, I'm positive that it is, but I'm not sure exactly which one. So maybe you guys could drop a comment. Let me know what Nerodia species this is. Is this indeed a salt marsh snake? Or is it just a banded water snake with this beautiful red orange coloration? Beautiful, gorgeous snake. All right, let's get out in the boat. Let's go catch some fish. Alrighty, right. Here we are yet again. Let's see. If this weekend we can manage some more snook like we did last weekend on the glide bait. Here we go. Fish on. First fish of the day for me. Nice. All right. Let's get him out here a little bit more. Really sick. And I'm just getting to a spot where I'm not going to be in the mangroves here. All right. Nice. Pumped. All right. Let's get the grippers on him. I think he's ready to come in. All right, there he is. First one for me of the day by lure. Just a little guy, probably like 26 inches or so. Let's get the hooks out of him. Right, check him out. First snooky for me. We're gonna get a quick picture and we're gonna send him back in. Let's release this beautiful snook, grab him by the tail. We're gonna shake the lactic acid out of him. Send him home. Really nice first fish. Let's see if we can get one a few inches bigger than that. Let's continue on. What do we got here? What the heck is this, guys? It's tiny. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at this snook. Look at this little tiny snook on this glide peak. Hey, that's too funny. Just about the same size as the glide peak. <laughs> that's hilarious. All right, well, the second snook for me was like an eight incher. Oh, all right, let's see what else we could do. Hopefully there's a big girl lurking in this canal. There is an old video on like Outdoor Network guys fishing in here and this sailboat, they were sitting here pitching uh, pilchards at it. This sailboat. They were sitting here uh, pitching pilchards at it, catching a snook all day. All right, Landon. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. It wanted to keep the lure today. Yeah, apparently so, huh? All right, let me drive this boat to get away. Hold on guys, I'm just driving the boat to get away from the docks and that sailboat. Nice dude. Alright, so I guess we made the right call by switching up from just subsurface lures to deeper running swim baits. You want stuff a little bit deeper right now. Heck yeah. On the what? What lure is that? Five inch NLBN. Five inch NLBN. Got her. <laughs> Got her. There it is. There you go, Landon. We got a picture of Landon with this beautiful fish. It's a heavy snook. Yeah, dude. Nice. 
We're gonna see if this fish is in the slot or not for landing. I've never tried snook, so I wanna try it this one time. Ooh. Yeah, right, I can't see the tape. Uh, 30, 30 and a half. All right, we got a 30 and a half inch snook here for landing that we're gonna keep. And we're gonna continue fishing. Nice job, dude. Heck yeah. Thank you. All right, guys, Landon here just unfortunately broke off. So he's gonna show us how we tie a PR bobbin knot using a bobbin tool there. You see a dang one off his line. And Landon will show you how to do that in just a second. Get some good top shot. Getting some top shot out. So you wanna take, take your line like this. Pinch it over where it overlaps a little bit. You want a little bit less black than that. You want it about right there. So you want to take it where it overlaps, twist it around your finger one good time because you don't want it to spin. Twist it up because on these inshore rods you don't want too much line. You just spin it down. Nice tight wraps. That's where it gets about right there. And then you pinch right at the end of the knot. Get you a little bit more slack. Pinch right at the end of the knot. And start going back the other way. You want to hold it and pinch it so it doesn't keep going forward. Gotcha. Once you get it started going down, like that, you can kind of. The wind's being difficult right now. But usually, you can just spin it right back down that way. And this is where it comes in handy as you twist in the line around your fingers at the start. Because you don't want that to slip because that's what's actually building your knot. Once you get it nice and tight like that, pull it down. Snip it. If I had good snippers. Huh. Like that. Straighten that one out a little bit. So now we're going for the finishing touch to close it up, right? Yep, now, now you're not built. Now it's just closing it. So you take your line, make a loop, put it right back through that loop. This is what we call a half hitch. It kind of just holds it nice and, nice and snug. Hold that thought. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we're about to crash into the mangroves. Captain over here is uh, more focused on that YouTube video. All right, so you did a half hitch to close it off, yeah. right? And then you go to the other side and do a half hitch. Do a half hitch, just like that G knot. Yep. When you do to one side, you got to do to the other. Same thing, wrap it around your finger, pull it down nice and tight. And I do four of those. Four two of those. Two on each side. Okay, so kind of what I've told you guys before with that G knot. Two on each side. You can get away with two, but I like... I always have a saying, why why tie a mediocre knot if the next fish could be your lifetime fish and you break off because you tied a mediocre knot. Absolutely. And then the final, final knot. I like doing this, not a lot of people do because it's kind of extra steps, but you cut this off where you give yourself about, let's say five millimeter line, barely, barely hanging off. I don't know if you all can see that on the camera. I think we can. And then on the braid, not onto the mono this time, on the braid, I like doing two more half hitches. It just cinches it down, makes the braid all nice and snug. And doesn't leave any mono spur. Exactly. Or fluorocarbon spur. Like that. And then now for the final knot. It's called a cinch knot. You can make it, it's like a uni knot. You go in there, I like going four to five times on the inside of the loop and then here's the tricky part got to pull it down a little bit and then this is weird because most people don't do this usually they just cinch the uni knot but if you untwist your loop like this you go back the way you just spun it until your top of your loops gone just like that and pull, tight. pull the bottom down. The cinch knot. You pull it up, set it, and pull it right back down. It gives it that nice build 
where it goes right through your guides for jigging and all that stuff. That's what I mostly do with this, is I mostly do all slow pitch. I right. work on a lot of offshore boats and I do all slow pitch. Right. And, and just cut the tag end and we're good, right? Trim your tag ends off and you're all good. It's the strongest knot line to line you can possibly all right. tie. There's a PR bobbin knot from a professional mate on the American Patriots. And we're gonna continue fishing here once he's done tying up. And let's see what else we can do. Just troll him back to a spot and Landon happened to get a fish here. Just a little snook, but nonetheless, <laughs> it's a snook. <laughs> literally just going back to the front part of the creek because we didn't have so much luck in the back here but there it is three inch nlbn for the 14 inch snook 15 inch snook whatever it is <laughs> that's funny dude good old popping good old pop the bass pop Mwah, good give luck. me a kiss good luck we'll see you when you're 30 inches <laughs> nice dude all right, let's continue back to where we caught that bigger fish earlier in the day. It's been real slow, uh, cooler morning and low tide, but the tide has changed. So maybe that was a sign of stuff to come. We'll find out. Does Landon have another <laughs> fish while trolling back? Really? Yeah. yeah. What do you got? A mangrove snapper. <laughs> Want to add that to your collection for dinner? <laughs> Big enough. Yeah, you might as well, right? All right, well, Landon already kept that snook. And so we're going to add this mangrove snapper to the collection. Might as well. Yes, he's big <laughs> He is. <laughs> yep. Toss him in there. Another fish in the box. Showing <laughs> mangrove snappers in the mangroves. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're still continuing on to our spot. So let's see what else we can troll up. What's next? Yeah, so a little too close to it, I think. But I don't know what that was. Something on the surface would have been. Oh, right here, actually, but it's a shark. Look. <laughs> we did not want that at all. <laughs> oh, he turned for it. A little bonnet head. No, it's a little bull shark. Ooh, yeah, yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's right there. oh, got him. What do I have? What is that, dude? Stingray. It's a stingray? Yeah. Oh my God. I just <laughs> caught a stingray on a swim bait. Dude, it's in his mouth. I know, you did. I just caught a stingray on a swim bait. <laughs> no way, guys. There's a little shark swimming around. That's what he's looking for. And I just caught a stingray. First one ever on a swim bait. The hook's in his mouth, dude. No way. I thought the shark just grabbed it. Yeah, no, I, I saw it. Look at that. Something came up right there. Guys, I'm not even kidding you. Look, the stingray ate the swim bait. It's in his mouth. No way, dude. That is crazy. That's the first stingray ever caught on an artificial lure. <laughs> Catch a mangrove and stingray. You won't get a picture. <laughs> yeah. Landon won't get a picture of me with a stingray and an artificial without me getting stuck. Don't get stuck, <laughs> It's spinning around. I'm trying to get some. <laughs> hey, I got one good one. <laughs> All right, guys, literally a stingray and a swim bait. We came out to the flats hoping that there's redfish and trout around, but apparently there's stingrays and sharks around. <laughs> but yeah, fishing's been a little slow. We're actually heading back in, but cool way to kind of top off the day here. Interesting. Let's get the hook out and let him go. All right, guys, literally just trolling back. We're in the mangroves. That's a 42. Oh. Put it down, put it down, put it down. Wow. 
Put him out. Oh, broke me. That was a 40 too. That was a big fish. That was a 40. That was a big fish, guys. Oh. You go, that's a fish, that's a fish. I thought I was snagged up on something there yeah. and it started running. Man, that was a big snook. That was a 40 all day. That was a 40 incher. Broke my 30 pound leader. Done chafed me off right there. Phew, heading back in too. God, love you. All right, the trolling's working today, apparently. <laughs> oh, man. That, we we're all jammed up though. I was going bow first into the mangroves here, it just and fish was under the engine. It just didn't work out. It is what it is, and we're heading back in. Well, guys, we're coming to an end of a video. We put a few fish into the boat. I think like two or three fish, something like that. I don't quite remember. Had a very big heartbreak with like a 40 inch or so that broke me off. But it is what it is. There's always going to be another day. We'll be back up here, I believe, next weekend. And we'll cast around some more artificial. Maybe I'll get some live bait and see if we can get some numbers of snook. And there should be some redfish around too. So maybe the redfish should be more keen on pinfish or pilchards. But until then, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. And my friends, always stay fishing. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.